Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new series called Formation Mania and in this series I'll review all of the formations and I'll do squad builders with them so it's kind of like a two-in-one series and for every single formation I'll have a different hybrid squad builder so and the key catch to this series is every squad must be under 100,000 coins so it's kind of like a budget hybrid formation analyzing series if you want to put it that way but we start off with the 532 I decided to go backwards starting with the five back formations usually people start with the 3412 and whatnot but I decided to go backwards so for this squad the goalkeeper I've used him many times Julio Cesar pretty solid keeper he's pretty average and for our right wing back whoops wrong formation but for our right wing back we have Jonathan the Brazilian and he has 88 pace he's pretty good makes a consistent effort on the pitch our first center back is Felipe Santana and this guy is monstrous he is six foot four and he has 81 pace you see there 84 heading which is just beastly and then you've seen this guy a lot too David Luiz pretty standard explained him a few times pretty solid player OP you know all that and then our third center back is Pepe and he is strong as hell so he's pretty good and he's decently quick he's always there and always wins in the air but our left wing back is Fabio Coentral you see there that nice Real Madrid Portugal lineup and our first center mid is Obi and 84 pace on him and he is only three star skilled but he's a pretty solid player has a pretty beastly shot on him not gonna lie and I enjoy using him and then our second center mid he will be Mikel he's originally a center defensive mid plays for Chelsea has that perfect link with David Luiz and he's a solid player really good he falls back a little bit to help out with the five back defense which is just beastly already as it is and it makes for a strong strong defense in center midfield our third center midfielder is Danny and I don't see as much of him as I used to in FIFA 12 probably because of the reason that he's four star skills now but he's still a pretty solid player has amazing ball control always keeps that dribble tight to his feet and then our first striker is Emanike I used him in my last squad builder he's just strong and he knows he knows how to find the right spots and he just powers through everyone I called him a bulldozer and he's just amazing and then our second striker final player is Obafemi Martins and he is a five star weak footed player so he's two footed and he has a ridiculous shot to be honest he's, his shot is better than Emanike's and I always enjoy taking shots with him. He's he makes pretty good runs and he's quick as well. Both strikers have ninety pace and both play for the Russian league, both are Nigerian, so you know. Got two pretty similar players except Emanike is a lot stronger. So over these goals that you're about to see, I'll go over the formation and tell you the pros and cons and all that and I'll show you the price of the squad and everything. So let's get into the analyzation of the 532. And the first complaint about this formation that I have is that it's pretty difficult to make hybrids with. All of your center mids connect to your to your center backs and to your strikers. Every single center mid attack uh, attaches to a striker, which makes it difficult at times. But overall it's pretty solid once you do make a team. The five defenders is really helpful for people just starting off FIFA and there's a bigger error of margin with 532 meaning that if you mess up on defense usually there's a player right behind you or one of the right backs or left backs to help you and usually take the ball away from your opponent but 
with this formation there's a lot of counter attacking you'll end up getting the ball a lot on defense and you just shoot it straight up to the strikers or one of the center mids and you basically do the ping pong passing style and with the LBA passes or for PS3 the L1X passes which sends, your def sends the person that passed on a run and usually you'll do that back and forth in this squad with MNEK and Oberfemi Martins and that's usually how you get your goals you'll see a lot of the goals shown in these clips are just between MNEK and Oberfemi Martins and they're just passing back and forth and one of them ends up breaking through and that's how they end up scoring but this is a very beginner based formation I'd say if you're just starting off FIFA Ultimate Team I'd recommend this formation but if you're a little more advanced I go with something like the 3-5-2 if you're a good defender and a four back formation if you're an alright defender but you're still getting comfortable with it and here to recap we have the pros and cons. Pros, very beginner friendly, easy to counter attack, there's a bigger margin of error, there's cheaper players and formation cards. The cons to this formation are it's harder to make hybrids, it's harder to sell players in a 5-3-2 formation, and you might get looked at as a noob for using a 5-3-2 formation. So that's it for this guy for this episode guys. If you like this new series, please like, comment, subscribe anything all your feedback is appreciated and it helps a lot thank you guys and peace